Ooh. You got max money now. You're just wasting any money you find. Yeah, I know. I know your OCD is killing you. Ow. I don't know what to spend it on. Ow. Please stop hitting me. Okay, what's the deal with this? Behold my invisible wall. Man. Like, there's only going to be like three more of them, right? Yeah. I could just run out. But I'll wait. It's like two copy pasta rooms of each other. It's insane. You're gonna stop moving, so just hurry up and do it. Free hit off on the come on, man. In your damn rocks. Oh. Even though, like, the arrows are kind of easier. I don't know, the sword feels just as good. You can hit this dude as soon as he hit, pops out of the ground. Nice, nice. Okay. Didn't have to look at any of the... You would have learned more of what? If you were going to play Ocarina Majora's, would you play the OG versions or the 3DS versions? Probably the OG versions. It's probably easier to get ROMs of those too than it would be to find a 3DS emulator, even though I have a 3DS, it just doesn't work. Which I'm still peeved about, by the way. Nintendo. Say what? Desert of Mystery, blah, 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 blah. Landmines, look for a cave, Book of Medora. 
you would have learned more about the lore of this game. To save you some considerable backtracking, I'll look you back to the house of books and some shit. Now bomb the wall in Agana's room. Who's Agana? And where's Agana? I, I must have missed something. At any rate, look for a cave in the northeastern portion of the desert and head inside. Okay, so let me do that. Go for the last one. Northeast, huh? Uh, well, this is only one. But yeah, I think the OG versions would be my preferred ones. Your trial in the desert has made you stronger. The blood of the hero must be in your veins. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay, make your way. Old man, talk to him. He'll command you to find the Book of Medora. Now, if you'd spoken to him before obtaining the book, you would have learned more of the lore of this game to save you some considerable backtracking. I took you back to the house right away, but I'll include below what he would have said if you visited him first. Oh, I am Agena. I sense something is happening in the Golden Land. The Seven Wise Men sealed. This must be an omen of the great cataclysm foretold by the people of Hylian blood. The prophecy says the hero will stand in the desert holding the Book of Medora. Okay, so that's cool. That's cool and all. Now bomb the south wall and get your seventh heart piece. Okay. Can do. Sweet. Got me another... Another heart. Follow a southwesterly course through the sand, fighting away past vultures and geldmen. Then curve north past the rocky bluff until you reach a stone courtyard, desert palace. Okay, so yeah, I already did the desert palace, and I got that heart piece, which is why I'm ahead of this guy a little bit. I love the power glove. It's so bad. Climbing Death Mountain. Easy rupee spots. Now with the power glove, you can pick up large stones as well. Okay, so... Wait, what? Pick up the large stone. Wait, wait, let me just read what this clown has to say all the way. Now armed with a power glove, plus you can obtain easily rupees. I maxed out on cash, so that seems a little extreme. Ice cave, Lake Hylia, 20 rupees, don't care. Like I said, I have not been um, buying anything with these rupees. So learning to swim, if you've been following this guide, you should have at least 500 rupees by this point. Uh-huh, more than almost double that, uh-huh. You'll answer, okay, so if you've been following, blah, 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 make your way past the magic shop to, okay, that's where we're going, got it. Got it. So the witch's house, and then I can lift up the thing that's over there, I think. Such an iconic song. Gah! Yeah, I think the dude was talking about there's being a cave in here that has rupees in them, but... As my friend pointed out, my good friend pointed out, uh, we would just be overcapping our precious rupees. Our precious rupees that I never spend. Like, realistically, you would spend rupees on, like, what? Just potions? 
Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Like, rupees in, like, Wind Waker, you would spend that on, um... Deciphering the star maps. Not the star maps, but I think they're star maps, right? Are they called star charts? Just star charts? They're called something. The shard charts... And Tingle requires like a very specific amount of money to decipher each one. It's like nine, six, seven or something. Uh oh. <laughs> you still give out free samples, dude? You're a good man. Your apprentice is a good man, lady. Okay, so... Gotta go to the cave. And I guess I have to give the dude $500. But it's like I said... I'm at cap. So it'll be good to spend my money on something for a change. The waterfall of wishing is just around the corner. Oh. Oh, I think this little area is for whenever we have the... That mirror that changes dimensions. <laughs> the world of darkness or whatever it's called. see a star piece over there. Heart piece over there. Hey, come on, dude. Don't be so rude. Oh, I can't go on land. Suckers. Ow. <laughs> Whoa, it kind of turned into a fish. That's weird. That's kind of weird. No, don't touch me. Oh. Okay, cool. As long as I don't lose my HP, I'm good. Ow. In fact, it's kind of an easy way to reset the enemies by jumping in there. In fact, uh... Well, I can't jump over the deep water? No. He's just not good enough. He doesn't have those jumping shoes from... What was it called? Link's Awakening? He doesn't have those jumping shoes. Wahaha, <laughs> what do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I want the flippers. Wahaha, <laughs> but I won't just give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees a pair. What do you. Okay, sure. Wahaha, <laughs> one pair of flippers coming up. I'll give you a free bonus with your purchase, so I'll let you use the magic waterways of the sea folk, which link lakes and rivers when you see whirlpool dive into it. You never know where you'll surface. Wahaha. <laughs> hey, thanks. He buys Zora's flippers. What a nice man. For a whopping 500. I mean, listen, man. We have a lot of money to burn. Mermaid suit is better. Yeah, I guess. But, come on, man. We don't have future technology like that. Are you talking about the one from Twilight Princess? I think it looks really cool, too. So, I got Peace of Heart 9. So, swim all the way south to the re and to return to Hyrule proper. Anyway. Now you can swim, but are you finding the Zora are still pretty annoying? 
Time to do something about that. As soon as you emerge from Zora's waterfall, stay in the water and swim around west to a different waterfall. Say what? It's to a different waterfall, you say? West? Now, we're talking about the one in Oracle of Ages, but yeah, Blue Tunic and Twilight Princess is pretty cool looking. I'll have to see what you're like, because I've never, like, those are going to be completely blind when I play those. I think you let me borrow one, one of them, like, a long-ass time ago when we were in high school, but I don't remember anything about it, so it's going to pretty much be blind. Are you still Link in those games, or you actually play as Din and Junk? You're probably Link, right? If I did, it was a very long time ago, yeah. Very long. No, you're Link, okay. Won't you throw something in? Throw an item. Ooh, I think you dropped this. Those were GBC games, so they're super old. Don't drop it again. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Inside a cave, looks like a very fountain. And you'll be prompted to throw an item in. So throw your boomerang into the fountain, and if you answer honestly, she'll upgrade it into the magic boomerang. Oh, so do I need to not have it equipped or. Oh, okay. I didn't see the little prompt down there. Did you throw this in? Yes. I like it on this person. I'll give you something bad in return. I like how she was pissed off at me when it was the bow. But she's like, don't do it again. Oh, okay. Throw something in. They said my shield. Hello, did you rob this? Yes. I like an honest person. I'll give you something better in return. If you throw your student in, would she be able to get, make it magical? She'd probably, like, call the cops and call it sexual assault. If I threw my tunic in, like, do I have clothes on underneath? <laughs> That's an important one. That's an important thing to consider. Did you, like, oh my god, there's a naked child in here. A naked teenager. Possibly 18-year-old. I don't know how old Link is. But, uh, did you, oh my god, cover yourself. Depends on the Link, I think. <laughs> yeah. Much treasure will await us. Go to the graveyard. Just eat to the sanctuary. In general, beware of moving graves since most are empty and will only cause a ghost called a Poe to spawn and attack. Um, lift the two small stones blocking the northwest grave and then push it to go inside. Okay. Off to the graveyard. Whoa. Dude's having too much fun. Well, let's bring out that new magic boomerang. Yo. Life is magic. Nothing that way. Oh, are you streaming around this time now? I've been, like, s switching it up. Nice to see you, dude. It's been a long time. Everything going okay at the doctor's office? Uh, I did stream earlier today, but a lot of my friends are, like, busy during the day, so I kind of try to double things up with a, an evening stream from time to time. Mm. 
No, I'm good. What about a smoothie? Yeah, I've been good, Mouse Brooks. I've been working with a touchpad. Damn. That sounds like a pain. Damn. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, like my friend uh, Duo Buster and a lot of my other friends, like, work during the day. I guess I kind of quote-unquote work during the day, too, but... I try to do extra streams to make it possible for them to come hang out. Any and all viewers I get is a good thing, you know? Whoa! Oh, dude, we're back in the, uh... Okay, sweet. I was wondering about how to get back here. But that... Bombs? Need the rupees, ten arrows. Very nice. Now I'm back to cap. How was Masquerade? I saw you shoot me that a few times. I I liked it. Uh, it was thanks to Duo Buster that uh, we played it. He got me interested in that series. Um, it was alright. Ending is kind of anticlimactic. The combat is kind of a pain. But I, you know, if you like that aesthetic, which I do, if you like gothy, gothy, the goth aesthetic, then you're gonna like that game, obviously. But uh, I enjoyed it. Another viewer from the Masquerade streams suggested um, playing the first one. I imagine you played with the community mod, just the the patch that made the game work. I haven't, I didn't install any mods. I didn't even use the plus patch. I was, I tried to keep it as vanilla as possible. 